What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new smart exports introduced in Keyshot 10 and learn about what benefits they can bring to you. In Keyshot 10, smart export has been added as a pro feature to allow users like you to export files with greater scope and embedded data. Smart export uses subfeatures such as UV unwrapping and baking to prepare your assets for use in augmented reality, mobile, and 3D print workflows. The addition of Smart Export has added the ability to export USDZ file formats for augmented reality projects, while the addition of 3MF format, also known as 3D manufacturing format, has opened the door for incredibly fast and accurate prototyping workflows, which we'll talk about more in depth shortly. So let's take a look at some of these formats and see how you can incorporate them in your Keyshot workflows. First up is USD USDZ file format. Created by Pixar, USD is a data-rich 3D file format that contains mesh, binary, and texture data for use in augmented reality applications. This allows you to easily render models for AR content on mobile devices and websites. Apple users with iOS 12 and above will be able to automatically view USDZ files with Apple's built-in AR Quick Look, but unfortunately, there is currently no native support for USDZ on Android platforms. To export your model for use in AR using USD format, locate the file menu at the top of the program window and select File, Export, and Export to USD from the flyout menu. From here, you'll be able to save your file to a specific location using the browser and then specify your export preferences in the USD export window. At the top of this window, under Size, you'll see the current export's dimensions and its units of measurement. If you have not already specified your units of measurement, you will be able to do so from here. Below that, you can set your texture resolution in DPI and use the Include Ambient Occlusion checkbox to toggle ambient occlusion on or off. In this window, you can also set the number of samples you'll use to render your AR asset, and at the bottom, you can set the exporter to prefer geometry nodes or textures. With your preferences chosen, go ahead and select export and your asset will be baked before saving. Depending on the size of your scene, this may be instantaneous or require a minute or two to complete. Once complete, if you have a phone compatible with AR viewing, you can test out your USD file by opening it up on your phone's viewer and examining your asset in augmented reality. Next, let's take a look at our 3MF Smart Export and get a better understanding of what it is and what it can do for you. Also known as 3D Manufacturing Format, 3MF is an open source project developed by the 3MF Consortium founded by Microsoft. The intent of this format was to create a platform where 3D model and data such as dimensions, colors, textures, materials, and mesh information could be exported and saved, creating a better alternative to the traditional STL format. Essentially, by implementing 3MF into your prototyping workflows, designers can easily and quickly prototype in-house with 3MF compatible printers such as the J55 from Stratasys. Exporting 3MF format files from Keyshot is just as easy as exporting USD files. Simply locate the file menu at the top of the program window, select File, Export, and Export to 3MF. After choosing where your file will be saved to, the 3MF export window will appear in your real-time view. You'll notice that the majority of the settings for 3MF export are identical to the USD export window other than the checkbox located at the bottom. This checkbox allows you to more accurately prototype dielectric or translucent materials by forcing the output to better match color perception caused by material thickness. Note that this checkbox can only be enabled for assets that do not use geometry nodes. Something to note when setting your DPI preferences for 3MF is that results tend to appear best when using a DPI between 400 to 600. This becomes more apparent when working with textures and labels. And again, once your preferences are set, go ahead and hit the export button to bake and export your 3MF file. If you're interested in quickly moving from rendered Keyshot image to full CMF prototype, this is an invaluable tool that can greatly reduce the time required to go from concept to market. And finally, the last smart export I'm going to discuss is the GLB GLTF export format. 
This is not a new format to Keyshot. However, in Keyshot 10, this smart export has been updated to provide better UV unwrapping, baking, and full support for physically based rendering. Exporting in GLB GLTF format can be done from the same export menu that the previous two smart exports were selected from. After saving your preferred file location, a familiar export window will appear, and preferences can be set in the exact same manner you would for the other smart exports we've covered. Whether you're prepping scenes for prototyping, game assets, AR applications, or marketing, smart exports provide a quick and intuitive way to export data-rich files straight out of Keyshot. Thanks for watching this Keyshot Smart Export tutorial. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below, and if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends. Thank you.